Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to synchronize variables such as health. So when I press the spacebar one, two, three times, it goes away on every computer. Okay, so for this tutorial, let's get health working locally, and then after we get it working, I'll show you how to synchronize it over the network. Just be aware that you're probably not going to want to do all these steps after this, but I'm doing them in this tutorial because I think it'll help your understanding a little bit. So health should be pretty standard. Let's go into our prefab folder, open up our cube, um, and then we don't want it player movement, so let's go ahead and add player health. Perfect. Go ahead, create and add. Once that appears as so, we can go back into our assets folder uh, and then open up our player health. Uh, eventually, we're gonna wanna put our scripts into their own folder, but I can do that off camera right now. We can move all that. And then you guys probably already know this already, but we'll make a public, let's make it an int actually, and then name it health. Once you finish doing that, save, go back into the editor, open up the prefabs folder. And since we already attached the health there, perfect, it should pop up. So health, let's go ahead and set it to three. With health at three, let's go back into our health script, make public, it can be private, public, whatever. Um, again, we're just doing this locally at first and then I'll show you how to synchronize it over the network. So make an update function and then say, if input dot get key down, we want get key down. And then let's go ahead and name it key code. You can name it whatever you want or not name it, but use whatever key you want. I'm gonna use space. So if we press the space key, health minus equal one, perfect. And then after that, we can say if health is less than or equal to zero, destroy, whoops, destroy, I am terrible at typing, game object. So very simple, our health is at three. If we press space, it subtracts one. And then if our health is below zero or equal to zero, uh, this game object will be destroyed. Easy. Okay, let's go test it. So make sure you save, I just did. Head back into the editor, press the play button. And again, we're just testing this locally, so we do not need another build for this. Um, I'm gonna turn all this off right now. And bam, there's our cube. So we press space one, two, three, and it's gone. So just to show you what happens before we synchronize it, um, I went ahead and made a build and let's just go ahead and test it. We have not synchronized it, so one, two, three. Oh, and we have a bunch of weird stuff. They both got deleted there and only one got deleted. So really weird, um, let's fix it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into the bolt asset menu. Bam, right there. And then again, we're the custom cube state not the cube state. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I think I got confused about that last video. So I'll hold the control key and then go ahead and delete the regular cube state. Go into our own custom cube state, add a new property, name it health. Uh, notice I use a capital. I'm not sure what the convention is, but uh, if you want to follow me, I use capital letters. And then in our script, we made our local health an integer. So let's make this an integer as well. And then every time we edit something in the Bolt Asset menu, we hit the compile and give it a second. And there's our success. Now we can go ahead and close the asset menu. And uh, it looks like I got an error. And this is very odd, but unfortunately it's not uncommon. So. Um, a lot of the times when I go into the asset menu and I edit something or delete something like we just did, um, it will desynchronize everything I've already done, which is very annoying and I'm not sure why. As you can see, it's still hooked up to the custom cube state, which we only altered and we added health, but it's giving us an error now. Um, it's easy enough to solve, but we just go to, well, we can go to the menu again, or we can just do it the quick way by going to assets in the top menu and then bolt, and then we can hit compile from there. Let it run for a little bit. And there's our success, we got it back. Um, and now, so once we ran that again, perfect, the error should have gone away. So just be aware, if that ever happens, just make sure it's linked up right there and then compile it one more time.
Now with that error fixed, we can actually go on to the scripting part and perfect that fixed itself. So head back into the player script health. So now we are going to want to do a bunch of things. Let's start by renaming this health to local health. Um, this is something I do and it helps me uh, keep things clear in my mind. And then we also need to add an attached function. Um, if you guys don't remember, attached is pretty much the same thing as saying void start. And with bolt, it's a bolt function, so it needs to be public override void. And then if you type in attached, it should show up, but it doesn't. Ah, and perfect. It doesn't because we're still deriving from mono behavior. So if that doesn't work, like it just did not, we need to derive from bolt dot entity behavior i custom cube state. So as you can see, there's errors since we changed the name of this. Um, let's ignore those right now because we need to set the state dot health variable that we just made equal to local health. So if you guys remember, we set this equal to three in the inspector. Um, I'm just going to set just to help us visualize. So that is equal to three. Um, and then this, since it's the same thing as the start, it's called when a person loads in. We're setting the state health equal to three. So the way networking works is you change a state variable and then you synchronize the local variables. So, for example, just to help visualize, um, when two players or two or more spawn in, they each have their own game object. So when someone presses space on one game object, um, it will change it, and then you need to send that change over to the network, and then the network will change it for all the others. Uh, if that doesn't make sense, just keep watching. Um, when we go through it, it might make sense, and I'll probably repeat it more. So we change the state variable. So instead of saying health, so this, this is the same as local health. We're going to change the state dot health minus equal one. So we're changing the state variable. And now uh, Bolt needs a way to detect that change. And the way it does that is through callback functions. And callback functions is probably one of the most, if not the single most important part of networking with Bolt. And um, let's get into it right now. So we can just make it private void health callback and that's a function right there um, so just leave it like that health callback right now it's just a private function it doesn't do anything and so we need a way to call this function so network once this is changed uh, bolt needs a way to call this on everyone else's computer so the way we do that is say state dot add callback and it'll take two arguments here the first one is the variable in question so we're doing health remember it's the capital H so this is the state variable so if bolt detects a change in the state variable we call the function health callback so we're changing the state variable bolt detects it and it calls this now what the heck do we do? What do we do with this function? Well, um, since the state variable just changed and specifically we're subtracting one from it, we set local health equal to the state health. So local health equal state dot health. And then I do my comparing locally. So just to prove a point, I'm gonna move that if you missed it. This was the destroy if health is less than or equal to zero. Whoops. Um, so if health less than or equal to zero. I'm gonna put that inside the callback function and then compare it with the local variable. So if local health is less than or equal to zero, and then we don't want to destroy it just locally. We're gonna to want to do bolt network dot destroy. It's the same thing except over the network. The Roy game object perfect so this is actually working uh, we changed the state health just to say everything one more time we change the state health bolt detects that change in the callback um, 
in the state dot add callback which we add in attached and then when it detects that change it calls this function which then sets uh, the local health so on every instance of this on the server all the local health will be set equal to state health and then we do our comparing with that local health that we just changed and now it's actually ready to test guys so go ahead um, I usually like to save all you can just press control s if you so desire um, and then we can uh, build so build and run once that finishes up we can go ahead and host a game on one there's our little cube move in to where we can see him and join a game on the other Alrighty, looks like it's working and there bam there we are so now the moment of truth i'm testing it on this little guy we press one two and three bam it's synchronized congratulations we just synchronized health uh, one quick final note is you might be asking why even bother with local health why not just say if state dot health is less than or equal to zero uh, then we can do bolt network dot destroy just like we did uh, up above so basically why do we even bother with all this local stuff if we can just say if state dot health is less than or equal to zero and the answer I really don't know it seems to work okay um, on the games I made for instance this one you can see my health if I can get this guy to take damage yeah it looks like the health is synchronized there and that I'm just using the state way it's a bit it's a bit delayed but um, yeah it looks like it works so um, yeah I really don't know guys uh, the guy buddy who helped me make this said it might be slower constantly connecting or constantly checking over the network which it probably is but um, if anyone has a more definitive reason um, it'd be great if you could let us know in the comments but yeah thanks for watching guys I hope you learned something um, the last thing I'll probably cover is events uh, that's probably the last necessity we need to learn about bolt and then after that um, I don't know we'll see what happens but thanks for watching I'll see you next time